Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and uh, today I have a video for you on a question I was uh, posed um, by a subscriber of mine who's from the Philippines asking me what canteen uh, would be best suited for a tropical environment or a hot weather environment. And this posed a lot of thinking to me because um, basically all the canteens that I know of that are actually were issued in tropical or desert environments or were purpose built for tropical or desert requirements aren't actually all of that great for that environment um, given the purpose all right now obviously a standard um, I tested three canteens in this series of tests um, and uh, the two ones that I were really testing was here, and I tested just a standard USGI steel one uh, as a control, essentially, just an uninsulated canteen. But I like drinking cold water in a desert environment or a jungle environment. Cold water is a huge morale booster. It's going to do wonders for your body, basically, just having cold water, um, as well as a comfort effect. So, um, nothing against room temperature water. If you're fine drinking room temperature water, that's fine, or hot water. Uh, in a desert environment, that's totally fine. Um, but what I tested is I found out, well, normally what I drink in the summer is I use these. I have about 15 of these, actually. These uh, Canadian Arctic canteens, as they're referred to. And I've got about four of these uh, U.S. Arctic canteens. And they work really, really well at keeping water from freezing because they work on a double-layer uh, system. So they have uh, the inner layer which holds the liquid and then they have a layer of insulation and then the out outside of the canteen um, which keeps your water from freezing. So usually most Arctic stuff will keep your water from getting warm as well from the same principle. It'll hold cold just as well as it will hold heat. So I tested that theory um, through two tests. Um, I took both of these canteens and filled them up with 40 degree Fahrenheit water. That's about uh, four and a half degrees Celsius. Um, and I put them in my oven at 150 degrees, which isn't enough to melt any of the plastic or anything really. Um, uh, but I put them in the oven at uh, 150 degrees. And uh, I put the regular one in there too, just the standard USGI steel canteen. And I checked every hour to see how long it would take the water to reach 80 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is about 65, 64 Celsius. So, um, and it worked, I was surprised by the, uh, the outcome actually. Uh, for that one, and then I did the other one, the reverse of it, which is I put um, 40 degree water, which is cold water, in a container, and I put it in the freezer, all right, and waited until the water inside the canteen was frozen, like frozen solid, and I was surprised by the out outcome of that one too. I did it with all three canteens, and so we'll get to the results. So, all three canteens in the oven at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, the, after one hour, the standard USGI canteen, the water had reached 80 degrees. Alright, so that's too warm. Alright, for my liking anyways in a tropical environment. Not saying that it ever gets to 150 degrees, okay? You don't really have to worry about that. I went to an extreme temperature. Um, so, obviously, if it's less hot out than that, which it pretty much always will be, it will obviously take longer, but after um, five hours, this canteen had reached 80 degrees, the U.S. Arctic canteen, and after seven hours, this one reached 80 degrees, which means this is the winner if you want to keep your water cold, but it just proves that these Arctic canteens, even though they were designed to keep water from freezing, work just as well for keeping it cool, which is awesome. Um, now for the freezing, uh, portion, uh, once again, all 40 degree Fahrenheit water, so about four and a half, five degrees Celsius water in all three of them, put them in the freezer, all right? This canteen, the water in, uh, this one froze 
after about four hours after the standard one, um, the standard USGI uninsulated canteen, that was about um, two hours. It froze solid. Um, that one holds a lot more water than this one does, though. So that could have had something to do with that. I filled these all about three quarters full for the freezing test to give the water room to expand so the canteens wouldn't blow up when they finally froze into solid stuff. And um, after the whole night, uh, I checked this one, and this one had, uh, was just forming ice chips in it. So this one was about eight hours later. It took um, about eight and a half, nine hours, sorry. Later, it was still not frozen from 40 degrees. So, and my freezer sits around 10 degrees. So that's pretty good. So that's, it gets a lot colder on the planet than that. So like I said, it could freeze faster. It bases on the temperature of water. Obviously, if you want to keep these from freezing longer, put warmer water in them and they will not freeze a lot longer. And it all bases upon how much you fill them and stuff like that as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know that, that if you're looking, if you're living in a warmer environment, maybe invest in an Arctic canteen while they're cheap. These ones are kind of hard to find, but these U.S. ones are, aren't that hard to find, and it's going to be a good way to keep cold water around with you uh, during the day, as well as in the winter, any liquid that you would like to keep warm, don't put boiling stuff in this. It has a rubber and plastic stopper. It will melt. Um, but if you want to put warmer liquid in these, it will keep it from freezing as well. So it's a very well-traveled canteen it works in just about any environment for its purpose whereas the standard ones seem to be they're great if you want to cook in and stuff like that um and everything like that both of these canteens well this one comes with its own cup these ones don't have cups and they don't nest in any cups that i'm aware of um these ones do come with their own cup that you can cook in or boil water and heat water up to put in this canteen which is convenient and the standard canteens are good for that. They're, they're good for being convenient. And if they do freeze solid, you can just set them next to a fire to thaw them out, um, which is totally fine if you have the time and the space to do that, but you don't always have the time and the resources to do that. So hopefully this information was good for you guys based on these tests and uh, everything like that. If you have any other questions about any other canteens, I have a lot of canteens I can run these same tests on. Um, if you're interested, uh, just a question uh, that was posed to me that started this whole whole thing. And I'm hoping you guys like this video because I'd like to do more of these tests. And I probably will whether you like it or not. Just to see um, who performs better, what performs better, and uh, stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this answers your question if you posed me that question. Because I really hope you see this video. And uh, I really hope you invest in one of these if you can get one all the way over there in the Philippines, because it'll do you a lot of good, I promise. Um, especially if you can get the cup and the pouch with it. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.